so moving on to one of the biggest press conferences that we're expecting at this show is definitely Microsoft. Now, they, they're predicted to have a big show. Just so everybody knows, their conference time is scheduled for uh, the Sunday at uh, 11 o'clock. Sunday, 11th of June at 11 o'clock at night. Uh, Patrick. That's our time, right? That's our time, okay. yes. Okay. Um, we know they're going to start off with the big, big Scorpio information blowout. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we'll get a rundown. How much time do you think they should spend? I think they should probably spend about 10 minutes on Scorpio, max, maybe maybe a little bit less. Anything time. over 10, it feels like you're shoving yeah, it down. You're shoving throat. it down your throat because you already had the Digital Foundry hardware uh, preview, which we covered in uh, one of our earlier episodes. Mm. Uh, so you've done that. You've got the specs covered. Let's talk about price and release date. And I think they're going to come in at, you know, around... I'm trying to remember my stupid bet from a couple episodes ago about price. But yeah, we're expecting price release. Uh, and yeah, then we need to get into some games, you know. So, big blot, definitely on Crackdown 3. What are you expecting from that? We uh, barely got any. We got a few demos of the destruction and how every the the destructible uh, environment and buildings collapsing. Their big focus on the cloud. How is that going to work? Uh, how we? Uh, what do you think we see? Look, crackdown. Yes, it it it, it I think it's going to look good. I think that Forza has to be a game that they also have to capitalize on. Forza Seven is in lock. Yeah, we know that. I, I it has to be a game yeah, where if, so. if 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 Microsoft say look. We're going to give you Forza. We're going to be like, okay, give us Forza. And then they have to tell us, this is going to be the greatest racing game you have ever played. And we're going to be like, why? And we're going to be like, it looks the best. Mm. It handles the best. And it's just going to be the best racing game. Then we'll be like, okay, Scorpio, you give us some... Like, yeah. don't, don't give me mediocrity right now. Mm -hmm. If you're releasing the most powerful system... No, when to you, have, you have to deliver. You have to deliver. But that 4K 60 FPS for 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 score. I'll be really interested to see if all the Scorpio mm -hmm. titles that they show truly are 4K 60 frames per second. Because I think that's a lot of hot air. I don't think that they are they able. They got, got that liquid cooling thing going on. I don't care about that. I it is still not as good as the top of the line PCs, which even those top of the line PCs t can sometimes struggle. With running a game at 4K60, that is an insane amount of power that you need from a system. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, I have no clue if everything they show up, I'll, I think it'll, some games will be 4K30. And, you know, to be fair, I'm more interested in the new IP. Yeah. The, the new IP has to be... Look, um, wh why not yeah, even beating need, around the bush stuff. now? Why not even beating around yeah. the bush now, Microsoft? We've let, you, we've let you slide for a long time, and now you're saying that you've got the, be uh, you've got the most powerful console, right? Congratulations. Now give us an IP that proves it with story, graphics, and gameplay. If you can give us... An Xbox exclusive game that is absolutely out of this world, then we'll be like, okay, well done. Anything less than that, then now you're falling short. Because you cannot have the most powerful console and not deliver the game See, itself. This, this is you the thing, do it. You can't do it. Studios are all locked up in factory projects. Turn 10 is making Forza 7. Uh, a coalition are, are wedded to making uh, Gears of War, yeah. and Halo for three industries is Halo, is they're doing Halo 6. So the question is, which studio do they have internally that can make new IP? No one. So you have to look at external partners that you can develop with. And to be honest, I want them to do well. Yeah, I want Microsoft yeah, to do well. Yeah, because you want, you want Microsoft to be kicking but so these if, ass back. If you have someone on stage saying like, Yo, um, Forza looks so amazing. Yeah, and I'm gonna be yeah, like, look, yeah, it's it's not, not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Fresh yeah. new hardware requires fresh new IP. You're four years. We're now in your what? Three into the gen. Sorry, yeah, mm -hmm. three and a half years into the yeah, generation nearly four, now. Nearly four. nearly four years into the generation. Microsoft. They've tried with new IP, but they haven't backed it. They didn't back Recore. Scorpio lost the bridge. Yeah. So you're making a great game. It's, it's, you have to make it now. Yeah, I really want the new IP. Like you said, we know we're going to see stuff like Sea of Thieves. Yeah. Because Sea of Thieves is an online pirate MMO game that you can play with your friends. Yeah, it, it looks cool. 
Uh, it, it looks, looks good. good. It looks cool. It looks good. Uh, as well as we, you know, like uh, we also have a State of Decay Two, which is an online survival zombie game. You notice with Microsoft's conferences that we say online a lot because that is their blatant focus. They're focused on games that have a long online tail that you're able to play with your friends, and more importantly, oh, I got you, I got you, I got yeah. you. Yeah. Like and that. more importantly. Yeah. They are, uh, they are obsessed with making money through microtransactions and DLC so that they get they milk one title over a period of several years. Whereas the comparison with Sony and Nintendo would be they release a game and they just let it live and maybe they put out substantial story DLC here and there. They don't nickel and like they're not tra not nickel and dime, but they're not trying to constantly squeeze money out of you exactly. every time you play the game. Yeah. So even if it's a new IP, I don't think it will have a big focus on story. Mm -hmm. That new IP is going to have a big focus on online connectivity with your friends. And I bet you we won't see gameplay of the new IP. If, if there's any new IP. No, it will probably be a CGI trailer and then can get cancelled two years later like Scalebound. <laughs> so, so, you know, they, they, uh, they are really fascinating to look it's at. It's not like the games are bad. Yeah, I just don't think they're, they're good just, enough. They're just, they're, they're like good. They're just good. They're good. That's it. Uh, and I think they have to, they just have to bring something fresh, innovative, and new to the table. Um, otherwise, selling Scorpio might be a hard sell beyond the hardcore, you know? Um, yes. I mean, look, I want, I want Microsoft to do well. If you're going to do something that, if you're going to release a new IP with your brand new powerful console, I'm expecting to see Horizon Last of Us level. And I'm not even just talking about power. I, I'm not necessarily saying that... Um, the IP that you're going to show us has to be open world or it has to require a hundred hours of game. I just want a very, very good game from you guys. I want something that is an Xbox Something exclusive. that makes the whole industry like go, wow. Because exactly. everybody, all the other manufacturers, let's just be honest here. Sony and Nintendo do have that. Everybody was crying over Zelda, right? Mm -hmm. Nintendo has that kind of game. Sony had that with their first party studios. Yeah. They have stuff like Uncharted, Last of Us, Death Stranding, mm -hmm. uh, God of War. You know, all these kind of games where people sit up and take notice. And I feel like people are kind of bored with the same old Gears of War, Halo, Forza, Trifecta. You know, so, so they definitely have to do something. I have no idea where that comes from because they don't have the internal capacity to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, I don't know which studio they can get outsourced. And that's not a long-term commitment, isn't it? That no. could be a one-and-done game. Exactly. If it doesn't do well, will Microsoft go back to that developer and be like, oh yeah, the first game didn't do well, but let's try for a sequel. Look at Quantum Break. I think it cost them a dead. lot. It cost yeah. them a lot. Yeah. yeah. They have the money, though, to a certain extent. It's not like Microsoft money is Xbox money. You know, they get given a but how much? But how much are you going to pay a studio to say that this is going to be Xbox exclusive? You see what I mean? For a year or something. Maybe if they do something like Tomb Raider with one year exclusivity, for example, let's just imagine Bioware's new IP mm. is exclusive to Xbox for a year. Fair enough. Mm. You've paid, you've money hat at the game. It's not going to change the game. It's not gonna Everyone change on it. PS4 is going to wait. Yeah. Even though it's 4K 30 FPS You're gonna on, your, wait. on a Scorpio. And once it comes out on PSN, everybody's going to jump on it. You need a true exclusive. True exclusive new innovative game. Yeah. So yeah, know. that's that's Microsoft conference. We've kind of skimmed over it. It's hard to tell where they go beyond the games that we know that are definitely there. Scorpio's but, gonna be great, but it's the games that come with out it. The, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that's that's us looking at Microsoft conference basically, and now we're just gonna answer a couple questions about their conference. Okay, guys. So what do you think about the recent comments where they're saying they won't restrict developers to? Uh, have parity between the Scorpio and the Xbox One in terms of frame rate and graphical fidelity. Basically, allow developers to do whatever they want for the Scorpio. I would say, like, it's definitely a good move because uh, if you have that hard, new, powerful hardware, you have to take advantage of it, especially to differentiate yourself from the Pro. Being tied down to the Xbox One is absolutely insane. Yeah. Um, the, it's fine if the frame rates and stuff are different. What they can never do is separate the games. They can never have Scorpio-only games that don't come to Xbox One. So I think that's a good idea, personally. Yeah, there was, there was always going to be the aspect where they were going to give them the freedom to say that, look, this game can come out on both but you also have to be careful in the sense that certain games may say that oh it runs better on the Scorpio but then we as the players don't necessarily know 
how it is better. Mm. You, you understand? Yeah. Like they, we 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 have had those aspects with the PlayStation, uh, with PlayStation Four and the Pro, mm -hmm. where you're like, oh, um, yeah, this game runs really well with the Pro. But then essentially, you start asking yourself, as the person who's playing the game, and being yeah, like, what are the what are the major differences? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. What, what what am I experiencing differently if I'm having the Pro? Exactly. So if you had. I, I understand what they're doing, but if I'm gonna play it on the Scorpio, I want to know that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I want to know, used. especially if you're the most powerful console. I want to know that this game looks absolutely fantastic on the Scorpio. Hey, what about the Xbox? No, on the Scorpio, yeah. it looks it's fantastic. Yeah, even if you have a 1080p TV, exactly. You're on 4K because mm -hmm. the system-wide downsampling, which mm -hmm. is a really cool feature, yeah. Yeah. for example. So. So, yeah. Um, what I'm um, also saying, maybe the strategy might be not to really showcase that many new IPs, but try to dominate the current IPs that we have. For example, um, your Destiny 2 might be able to run at 120 frames, which is PC level, compared to consoles which would be locked at like 40, mm -hmm. 50 frames. So that might be the strategy to dominate current gen games and then maybe go for new IPs next year. Mm. Yeah, well, it, it's an interesting idea, but this is where the rub is, and this is where X-Bone losing really hurts them. One, Destiny will never run a WWE FPS on, uh, on Scorpio, but two, a lot of those big third-party games are under Sony marketing. Uh, so, Microsoft is not able to show anything from Destiny on the Scorpio pre-release, uh, it's all Sony. They can't do the same thing, for example, with Star Wars Battlefront 2. They can't do uh, uh, the same thing with Red Dead Redemption 2, which would be a really good game to show Scorpio gameplay pre-release. So they're in a rock and a hard place because even though they have the most powerful system, the biggest of big third-party games, when you get those adverts online on YouTube, when you get those adverts on TV that are played before the Super Bowl, they all end with the PlayStation logo. Uh, so Microsoft have to come up with some really interesting marketing strategies to show how Scorpio benefits these games pre-release. I have no idea how they do that. I think, I believe they may have Assassin's Creed marketing. So that's a good way for them to show off like that's Scorpio okay. running. Uh, you know, they'll be able to pick up these partnerships here and there to show those differences. But how many of those are going to happen? Because by default, PlayStation has Destiny, Call of Duty, Star, all the Star Wars games. Um, so it's tough. It's tough. I, I, I really don't know so how they're going to... I, I, I mean, I, I, I agree with everything that you're saying, but also it also has to come into perspective where um, it's not like Microsoft is oblivious to the fact that they're on the back foot in this fight. Mm -hmm. They have to also come up with a plan that also uh, allows them to plan ahead in the next two to three years. So if it means that you're saying that the technology that they're releasing for the Scorpio will eventually look better for certain games and they're allowed to market it later and release a new IP that also looks good later on. I think that allowed to be patient with it. I totally understand. Yeah. Yeah. Sony is ahead, but Microsoft also have to think very differently strategically. Yeah.